TNT's finest hairstylist, uh, Kerry Mohammed. He will be here with us on set. A lot to look forward to. and Tobago. Well, if you see me trying to fix my hair this morning, it's because I'm very conscious of it because on set with me, we have one of Trinidad and Tobago's finest hairstylist and entrepreneur. His name is Kerry Mohammed. I'm sure many of us would know who you are. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you on this morning. So we're talking about hair treatments. Congratulations, by the way. I understand that you just recently opened a new branch. Thank you. And Where are you located? We're on 28 Argus Street in St. James. It's right behind Long Circle Mall. Wonderful. So let's talk a little bit about your passion. You're very much into hair treatment. I I love what I do. Hair has been something that um, it started out as a hobby and it's now a full, um, it's, it's become a part of me. It's become an extension of what I do and who I am. And I'm very, very um, into the hair therapy part of hair. Um, repairing, conditioning, it's all about healthy hair. Just like we want a healthy lifestyle, we want healthy skin, there's also such a thing as healthy hair. You know, I've heard the saying that you can tell somebody's health by looking at their hair. Yes, 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 I agree with that. Um, dull, lackluster hair not only um, is an indication of not a poor lifestyle, but a poor um, uh, routine or um, maintenance, the vitamins you take, the lifestyle we live, all of those things come back to how healthy, shiny and lustrous our hair looks. Great, so let's talk about proper hair treatment. Personally, I do not like to put my hair, like I've never put a color in my hair because right. I, it, it damages your hair from what my mom used to tell me. Right. So I've never put a color in my hair. I hardly use a flat iron, as many people would know. I don't use heat on my hair. I would just probably brush it and come on set just as is. Right, so let's break a lot of those myths okay. today. Um, coloring your hair does not damage your hair. It's the poor use of color. And the type of color? Not just the type of color. Okay. There, there's, there's a lot that goes into having one's hair colored or having one's hair styled. And it's not so much about using the product, but the correct use of the product. Remember, these products, colors, lighteners, creams, these are all chemicals. And they need to be executed by someone who knows how to use them. If someone is using these products in not the right context or formula or mixture, Yes, it can damage the hair. And very often I see um, clients go into salons and the first thing the stylist would want to do is bleach or lighten the hair. Yes. Because on social media now, we are so often geared towards the blondes and the fashion colors. And you have to understand what is realistic and what is not realistic. And in, in doing so, how much are you going to put the hair through? Mm -hmm. When to stop? How much is too much? because you can damage the hair. A lot of people think heat styling might damage your hair. That's it will not done the correct way. And there are also a lot of products, like for instance, my two very favorite products right now from the Kerastase line is the Lincroyable Blow Dry Cream and the Elixir Ultime Oil. Can't even spell it, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so Kerastase is the French um, brand label and they carry um, an entire range of hair care products that is specifically designed not only to treat, but repair and maintain healthy hair. And there are treatments and there are also at-home maintenance. The, these treatments help not only to protect the hair, but to rebuild the hair. How do you go about getting the right product for your hair type? Is to come in and have a diagnosis done. So we will tell you exactly what your hair needs and how to take care of it and put you on a regime that will help you to have healthy, shiny, beautiful hair. Wonderful. So let's talk about some of the trends that you mentioned. A lot of the times you see this trend, it looks wonderful on everybody else. Yeah. Would it work for me? Do you assess your clients? Yes, for and sure. You make those recommendations. What would look better? Well, the first thing that um, should happen in any salon is a consultation. Okay. Um, the, a lot of salons claim to do consultations and diagnosis. However, it's only 7% of the population 
says that, that they actually get a consultation or diagnosis in the soil. So you have research done to show There on. is research done that only 7% of those who visit salons actually receive a proper consultation and diagnosis. So the first step in getting a hair color or getting a treatment done is a diagnosis. And at our salon, we do an in-depth diagnosis, starting from the scalp right down to the mid shaft and ends of the hair. So we can tell you exactly what your hair needs and what is the realistic outcome. Let's say, for instance, you came in and said, hey, I want, I would love to have purple hair. Well, purple hair involves lightening the hair to a very light level where it can interfere with the structure and the health of the hair. And by doing so, you're damaging the hair. Now, is it achievable? Yes. Is it achievable right away? No. It's a process. It's a process to get there. And it's also a process to maintain that. Because once you get to that level of coloring or lightening or bleaching, you have to remember that the hair has now been chemically interfered with. So you want to follow up with not only the right products, but the right protocols to treat that hair. I follow you on Instagram and I saw a lot of people talking about you. Is it the keratin treatment? Kerastase. Uh -huh. Kerastase is um, a full line of products and treatments. There is also a keratin treatment that does smooth the hair, mm -hmm. but they're also gentler and more um, healthier ways to approach hair care. And I think people need to understand with technology and the future that we're moving into, a lot of products have now removed um, the harsh chemicals from the colors and from the treatments and um, we've had we've heard so many bad things about keratin and formaldehyde and preservatives and yeah. it's carcinogenic but we now have treatments that have replaced those products um, that are not only healthy for the client but also for the stylist that's in the salon. Wonderful. So let's talk about fine brittle hair. Somebody with fine brittle hair coming into your salon and you're going to sit and assess them. Correct. What are the steps and how long would it take before they could see results? What I would like to say is that each person is different. Yeah. So um, what I would recommend for you will not necessarily be what I will recommend for someone else. And with our Kerastase system, um, we have a very specific um, diagnostic regime where no two clients would go home with the same exact treatment or the same exact system because everyone's hair responds to products or treatments differently. Um, the other answer to that question, how long does it take? It depends on how much damage was done to the hair and how much the hair responds to the treatments that we'll be doing because there are some clients we get maybe instant results, some clients would get results over a period of time. And I know hair loss is a huge factor yes. in today's uh, society. Yes. And we have to think about um, the diseases of the scalp as well too. So psoriasis, um, dandruff, mild rosacea, alopecia, those are all um, diseases that relate to hair loss. Wow, wonderful. How can we reach you? Your website, Facebook, Instagram? So my website is karyology.com and that is also the handle to my Instagram page. Um, my telephone number is 70Kerry, you can't miss that at all, 70Kerry. <laughs> and we have two locations, one in Lanch Park in Shabonas and the other newest location is in uh, 28 Agra Street in St. James. Wonderful. Yes. It's been a pleasure chatting with you, Kerry. Thank you so much. Indeed. Uh, such a pleasure meeting with you. Thank you so much uh, for all of you looking on this morning. That's our show for today. News is up next. I'm Vina Barth. Have a great weekend.